For this one, all I'm doing is finding the inverse of f of x equals 4 sine pi x. I'm not going to worry about domain restrictions. I'm not going to graph. I'm just finding the inverse. Whenever you find the inverse, what I like to do is f of x seems to throw my ADHD brain off. So I'm going to use y instead of f of x. Step number one is you flip-flop the x and the y. So x equals 4 sine pi y or y pi, or pi y, or y pi. Now, I have to get y all by itself. First things first, let's get rid of that 4 by dividing everything by 4. So divide by 4, divide by 4, and now I have 4 below x equals sine of pi y. Now, if you're looking at this and saying, boy, sir, you sure left a lot of space there. I know I did. And I did it on purpose. And here's the reason why I did it on purpose. I have to inverse sign both sides to get rid of the sign on the right. So if I inverse sign both sides, now I have inverse sine of x over four equals these guys cancel each other out pi y. To get y all by itself, let's divide everything by pi, or better yet, multiply everything by 1 over pi. That'll make the left side look a lot more pleasant. Multiply everything by 1 over pi, and that leaves me with 1 over pi inverse sine of x over 4 equals y. Now, if we flip-flop things, so now that I have 1 over pi inverse sine of x over 4. Instead of writing y on the left, I'm going to write what it's supposed to look like when finding the inverse. So the inverse of f of x is 1 over pi sine inverse of uh, x over 4. And there you have it.